Hello guys, this is Smith on 2UP channel and you are watching us from Ghana. Um, thank you and I appreciate the love you are showing for my channel. Keep showing this love, subscribe to this channel if you've not done so. I will pray that you keep watching my videos, keep sharing this video so that we'll grow together. Thank you. Thank you very much. The expression of beauty through hairstyles has been a long-standing signature of black culture. From the fro to hair wraps to braids, black women use their hairstyles as a personal expression of who they are and to show the evolution of black culture over time, an evolution which has brought us to a time when more and more black women are embracing the natural beauty of their own hair. However, it doesn't escape controversy, beauty, and specifically hair, and black culture has been a sensitive topic of discussion for decades with roots all the way back to the civil rights movement and beyond. Recently, the connection between hair and identity has once again gained attention and garnered much debate within the black community. She Moisture, a black-owned hair company, has found itself in the middle of this debate after launching a new ad campaign. Since its founding, the company dedicated itself to providing its consumers, specifically black women, with a range of natural products that span all hair types, from loose, bouncy curls to tight, kinky strands. Historically, the brand has... Pri okay, without much ado... Today's video is about how our women are changing their hairstyle, especially the black women. What kind of hairstyle is now best for a woman? Yes, let me use myself as a personal, or let me share my personal experience with you. When I'm dating a girl, or any girl that I'm interested in, I am one kind of person who like natural hair. So I normally tell my lady to get that. I don't force that on her, but I actually love natural hair. So these days, you could see most of our celebrities, most of our prominent ladies, they are now cutting their hair. Why are they doing that? Why are they now changing to this hairstyle? And I'm going to tell you the reason. It's very simple. Consider buying waves and other stuff and so on. How much are you going to spend on those uh, products? Considering cutting your hair down, how much are you going to spend on that too? So you see, we have the opportunity to do that. And in my country, if you are dating a lady, um, you have the responsibility to even take care of her hair. So if he's going to change every month twice or going to make her hair for twice in a month or a week, you, all these things are your burden. It will be your burden. The guy who is getting this list will come asking you, oh, I want to go and make my hair, I want to go and do this. And you have to do what? Be something. So for me, what I, what I tell my lady, I can get you a nice looking haircut that will fit you. And for most blacks, you don't even have to worry yourself because you have a lot of, that's your tradition about it since we've lost this for a long time. So we, most of our women don't know. But shaving your hair, most of our blacks even it fits you very well. So when I start showing you some of the pictures of celebrities or people who are cutting down hair, you will love it. So stay tuned and watch all these kind of women who have cut their hair and you see that that is the beauty of what a black woman. As this one is going to also reduce the cost of what? Making hair. Because you will not spend much. You only need some cream, some curry, things like that will be used to what? Make your hair look nicer. Then going for uh, wigs or going to the, hair, the saloon so that they will go and make the artificial hair, they will cost a lot if you compare both. So I insist all my women to get a nice guy. Even if you're if you're not a black or if you are white, 
It also looks nice on white ladies also. So I think you start getting this kind of hairstyle and it will help you to make you look nicer and to make you look beautiful. So, if you want to know some of these head cards, different types of head cards you can wear for the education, watch this video and you will see a lot of these beautiful cards. In itself, on filling in the beauty gap, normalizing and bringing more awareness to black beauty while providing black women with products that otherwise could not be found in traditional retail channels. Their recent digital ad campaign sparked outrage when the company looked to appeal to a more mainstream audience by including non-Hispanic whites while excluding any representation of their core black audience. Specifically, the ad seemed to gloss over the history and social hardships black women have experienced in association with black hair stereotypes when compared to other cultural groups. As with any topic that garners passionate responses, one must look at hair and cultural identity within the black community for context. Social oppression, abuse, and racial discrimination have historically forced many black women to hide their hair. For example, before the emancipation, hair wraps were used as a sign of oppression social status and a means for black women to make themselves less attractive to their owners. Fast forwarding to when black women entered the industrial workforce, many felt forced to adopt a more anglicized practice when it came to hairstyles. Even today, in certain places, industries, or workplaces, traditionally black hairstyles, such as dreadlocks, are restricted and can be a cause for termination. An 11th Circuit Court of Appeals recently ruled that banning employees for wearing their hair in locks does not qualify as racial discrimination. Black women hair and identity to help in understanding the emotional significance hair has on black culture and identity. One doesn't have to look too far within our black communities to understand the effects. Each woman has her own story or hair journey often marked by struggles stemming back to childhood. As a black woman, I've experienced my own struggles to embrace my hair in its natural state and, to this day, consider it a vital step in accepting and defining my own cultural identity. As a young girl, I was often subjected to teasing because of my big puffy mane. However, my mom vowed to not ruin my natural curls with processed relaxers or straighteners. I'll never forget one day when I came home from my aunt's house with a fresh relaxer. My mom was enraged and a bit heartbroken. She told me my hair was beautiful and it would never be the same. At the time, all I wanted was manageable hair, and if I were brutally honest with myself, I simply wanted hair that would help me blend in with everyone else in my small Springfield, Illinois community. Looking back, what I think my mom was trying to tell me was that my hair, and specifically I, was beautiful without being altered. Throughout high school and into my first years of college, I continued processing my hair in part for ease as well as to prevent any damage or breakage. After continuing this vicious cycle into my junior year, I'd had enough of the damage, effects these chemicals had on my hair and looked to break free of my reliance on them by embarking on a journey to go natural. What preceded me was countless hours of styling, researching and trying new products, and many hours spent in the salon to finally find what worked best for my hair type. Looking back, it was the best decision I made and correlated with a bigger milestone in my life a sense of confidence and acceptance of the person I was becoming. Well, how empowering. It all came full circle when I took a trip back home after college with my natural curls in full force and someone said to me, Wow, you look beautiful. That hairstyle really fits you. Why didn't you wear your hair like that back in high school? And then I realized what changed was that I finally felt comfortable being me regardless of the opinions of others. Ask any other black women and they will have their own personal stories, experiences, and journeys with their hair. She Moisture is a brand that has always embraced these experiences and emotional connections in their products, and adds, when a brand disassociates itself from the attributes that have played such a major role in defining and establishing its identity, what exactly has the brand done wrong? In this case, the brand may have briefly lost sight of its roots, of its core audience, their values, struggles, and triumphs. Black culture embraces inclusiveness, but it also yearns to be heard and personally catered to. As market researchers, it's our job to never lose sight of these core values, beliefs, and emotional connections that give brands life, history, 
Culture, traditions, social struggles can't be denied. When brands ignore the importance of these elements, they are denying the value of that culture's identity, obliterating the very makeup of who the members of that culture are, providing the space for not just blacks, but all cultures, to feel accepted and celebrated for the things that make them unique is what it's all about. Join us as we continue to explore our own journeys in understanding our cultural history and how we define our cultural identities in a new series of blogs, videos you and around culture and ancestry coming soon. If you want these short afro kinky curly it's for black women, forever. human hair, the wig, pixie cut wig, natural black color, 100% Brazilian virgin needed. hair, short human hair, curly wig, check the link in the description below. I will leave you the links in the description, so if you need hair product, just check the links From below. What you've done before